Catalina Island is an island located 26 miles from Newport Beach in greater Los Angeles. It's a popular tourist attraction which attracts millions of people per year. Catalina was originally inhabited and used by many different Southern California native tribes, including the Tongva, who called the island Pimu. The first Europeans to arrive on Catalina claimed it for the Spanish Empire. Now the island has changed hands many times and went to the Banning family. And during this time, the island was sporadically used for smuggling, otter hunting, and gold digging. One of the main investors to purchase shares from the Bannings was chewing gum mogul William Wrigley Jr. in 1919. Wrigley bought out nearly every shareholder until he owned controlling interests in the Santa Catalina Island Company. Wrigley invested millions in needed infrastructure and attractions to the island, including the construction of the Catalina Casino, which opened on May 29, 1929, which is closed now. Wrigley also sought to bring publicity to the island through events and spectacles. Starting in 1921, the beloved Chicago Cubs, also owned by Wrigley, used the island for team spring training. The Cubs continued to use this island for spring training until 1951, except during the war years of 1942 to 1945. Following the death of William Wrigley Jr. in 1932, control of the Santa Catalina Island Company was passed down to his son, Philip K. Wrigley, who continued his father's work improving the infrastructure of the island. Archaeological evidence of the Chicago Cubs are all over the island. Hey everybody, we're at the shops of Catalina Island. And look at what I found. Original program, 10 cents. Chicago Cubs, Wrigley Field. Let's see more, guys. I took a look into the Chicago Cubs store right in the heart of the city of Avalon. We're at the Cubs hey, shop hey, here. Hey. It's just like Wrigley Field. I love this place. Let's go. We took a long three mile walk up to the Wrigley Botanical Gardens and Memorial, which is nestled at the top of a hill. It's a sight to see as you have to walk up some long windy stairs. And when you get to the top, you get an actual plaque of William Wrigley Jr. And here it is guys, the Wrigley Memorial. Here we are, we're inside. Look at all this architecture. Beautiful. The Wrigley Memorial, ladies and gentlemen. Billy Jurgis spent 10 preseasons on Catalina and described it as a great place to train. He remembers that big name bands like Harry James and Jimmy Dorsey would play on the weekends at the eight-story casino where the ballroom could accommodate 5,000 dancers. The Cubs would import girls from the mainland to provide partners for the dances, although wives and families were welcome on the island and often accompanied the players. The Cubs' last season on the island was 1951. A spell of bad weather, including a snowstorm, may have played a role in convincing the team to move spring operations to Mesa, Arizona. Only a plaque noting the location remains now on the grounds of what is currently the Catalina Island Country Club. Though its clubhouse is the same structure 
that Wrigley built for the Cubs. I thoroughly enjoyed Catalina Island. It's definitely one of the most beautiful places I have been and I recommend it to all you tourists and travelers out there. And especially if you're a Cubs fan, you can get a little piece of history. Thanks for watching. Peace out.